primarily see myself here as a scientist rather than a woman. Initially, I didn't plan to stay in Amsterdam for more than a year, but the combination of a research environment like the CWI and the vibrant city of Amsterdam convinced me to stay longer. Throughout my 20 years of working at CWI, the Institute has been very supportive in both my roles as researcher and as mother. My name is Ute Ebert. I'm a group leader here at CWI and I'm also part-time professor of physics at Technical University of Eindhoven. And my research is mainly concerned these days about dis with discharges, everything that has to do with lightning, small sparks and the very big lightning discharges high above thunderclouds. What we're doing on natural lightning is at the moment mostly on sprite discharges because there we really can develop a quantitative theory that we can compare with actual observations. And very much in parallel to that, we also can develop our technical applications. And the technical applications are like, um, you want to clean the air um, from a highway close to a tunnel. Or you want to disinfect air in a hospital. Uh, so there is air circulation in the hospital and the air goes from one room to the next but then it takes all the infections and spores and, and viruses from one room to the next and you don't want to have that. So you can possibly in the future place something like a little corona reactor where the air is entering the next room of the next patient. My name is Sara Ramazani. I am a PhD student at the CWI. I've been here for almost a year now. I work in the multi-agents and adaptive systems uh, group. And we work on um, yeah, trying to uh, solve different, different problems using, using multi-agent systems, using software that act as agents, and also using comp computational intelligence methods. My project is called Revenue Management and it involves different methods that an economic enterprise can use to optimize the revenue that it makes. And um, particularly right now I'm working on dynamic pricing methods with our methods that you can um, uh, optimize, uh, increase, increase the money that, that, uh, you, that a firm makes by, by changing the prices over time. A good example of that maybe is in, in airlines that, that Every time you might want to buy a ticket from an airline, you would see a different price. And actually, the stuff that we do is on the other side of that. That shows that that for the methods of how how to how to uh, decide what price to set at a particular time. So a uh, demand function is something like this, where we have the, the the higher the price, the less people are willing to buy it. So it comes down and it's decreasing. And so if if a firm sets its price at one particular point, at this point, for instance then the amount of, of money it's going to get, it's the amount of demand times the price. So we can show it with, with, this, with this area and something like this. Well, I'm Robert Dennis from research at the CWI and she works with a lot of people. She goes to conferences and yeah, I'll tell you what I know about it. She says she thinks it's a really nice job, so yeah, I think it's a good job. And I think she thinks it's a good job because uh, yeah, she, she can travel all over the world and meet lots of new people, and yeah, I think that's what she likes. Really. We do have role models like both of you, for example. So, my scientific career will benefit in many different ways from my stay at the CWI. Um, but certainly, having the opportunity to meet women in leading positions is a very important experience to me. <laughs> 